Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with GoodEReader.com, and today I'm going to teach you how to copy ebooks to your Pocketbook 602 Pro e-reader. This is one of my favorite e-readers by Pocketbook. It's a six-inch e-reader. It reads a ton of different formats from EPUB, PDF, text, RTF, and so on. And Pocketbook line of e-readers are very versatile in the respects that you can load a lot of different formats on it and use a number of different programs to facilitate the ebook loading process. I'm going to show you how to copy ebooks via Caliber, Adobe Digital Editions, and Windows Explorer. And along the way, I'm going to let you know why you want to use these programs and some of the capabilities of them. Caliber is a free open source program. It allows you to copy books that you have downloaded from the internet, from various websites, or ebooks that don't have digital rights management. So these are books that are not purchased, they're just downloaded. You can see when we have our e reader plugged in via the micro USB to USB cable, a little image will appear here called device. If we click on that, it'll actually show you the books loaded on it. Now, it'll just show you the books that you loaded on there yourself. The Pocketbook 602, along with most Pocketbook e-readers, usually come with anywhere between 500 and 1,000 e-books in various languages. So I'm going to show you some of the abilities of Caliber. I'm going to click on Add Books and Add Books from a Single Directory. I'm going to click on a book here, Ann Pratchett, State of Wonder. So you can see here the author, the format, some tags, as well as a review. So if I wanted to edit any of that information, I can click on Edit Metadata, Edit Metadata Individually. And a lot of the times when you download ebooks from Project Gutenberg, various websites, or other places, which I won't get into, a lot of the times the title might be messed up, or in the title will actually have the author's name, and things may be misspelled, it may have hyphens in between it, so this, with Caliber, allows you to really clean up any ebooks that you may download from the internet. Often, in a lot of cases, you may not even have cover art, or it may have the wrong cover art, or it if an ebook was converted with a free program, it may say this book was converted with such and such a program where when you look at it on your e-reader you want cover art and when you load the e-book up you want it to be proper so you can add the title the author name title and author sort so once you have many books on your device you can look under it under the s for state of wonder or under p for pratchett of course you can change it so and would be first as well some books, a lot of the books that you may download from the internet may not have ISBN numbers, ratings, tags, or so on. So let's pretend this book didn't have any type of cover art and we wanted to fix it. We can click download metadata and it'll actually connect up with Google and Amazon in order to find descriptions. So we're going to click on the Amazon OK. You can see that the ISBN number and Amazon number have changed as well as more tags have appeared here. So I can click OK. If I made a bunch of changes, I can right click and do save to disk and then save this book to disk. And then whatever book was clean, I can save that to my PC. Now the original copy is pretty clean, so I'm not gonna do that. Now, we've been working on it under my library, and one of the other methods I want to show you, and this is one of the reasons why I really like Caliber myself, is the ability to convert ebooks from one format to another. So I can click on Convert Individually. Now, this book is an EPUB format, which is a format compatible with the Pocketbook 602, but let's say that I downloaded a book in, I don't know, RB format, or let's say zip format or any other format that the e-reader doesn't read. If it was in Mobi format, I can convert it to EPUB. Or if you have maybe a different e-reader than the Pocketbook 602, a lot of the times you may find a book that you really like 
but the format's not compatible with your e-reader. So if you see here the input format, which is EPUB, and I can convert the output format to say Mobi if I had a Kindle, and I can press OK, and it would convert the ebook from EPUB to Mobi, and then uh, this way I would allow I would be allowed to load this book into my Kindle. So. This is really good for Kindle owners that only have the proprietary Amazon format and with Mobi is the Amazon readable format. But we're talking about the Pocketbook 602 so I'm not going to do any conversions but I will click on device. I have one ebook on the library, Dark Angels, but I want to add the book that we've been editing here called State of Wonder. So I'm going to click on add books, add books from a single directory. Now these books are on my desktop, so they're easily accessible. You can see here Jobs 1 and it's loading. And there's a green check mark, so this has been loaded successfully on my e-reader. So I'm going to minimize this for now. And I'm going to click on Adobe Digital Editions. Now, Adobe Digital Editions is a free download as well. The two big reasons why this program is useful is for borrowing books from the library and purchasing ebooks from other stores. Barnes & Noble, Kobo, Borders, Smashwords, BookBaby, and other sites that sell books with DRM or Digital Rights Management, you can't use Calibre to copy them to your device. Calibre is only good for ebooks that do not have any type of protection or anything like that in them, where if you've purchased books from other stores or borrowed them from the library, mainly the only way that you can copy to your device is with Adobe Digital Edition. So keep that in mind. You can see here that we have our pocketbook book here and you can see the cover art for many of the free books that came with your e-reader. But I want to copy a book that is on my desktop. So I'm going to click on library, add item to library and click on maybe Janet Ivanovich Smokin 17. So this book is not on my pocketbook yet. It's on my sort of virtual bookshelf here. But I'm going to left click. Now you can see when I'm trying to highlight these different directories, there's a red X that turns green when I highlight the pocketbook. So I'm just going to simply let go of the left hand mouse key. And it's copied it to the device. And as soon as that load screen is gone, it's now official on my device. There's really a lot of books here to kind of sort through and see it, but rest assured it is there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close Adobe Digital Editions because we're done with that. And the last method I want to show you is good old Windows Explorer. I'm going to click on my desktop and right click and click copy on a John Grisham book. And then I'm going to click on the pocketbook e-reader here. Now you can see that here is the pocketbook e-reader. There's a lot of books in different languages here. If you say wanted to delete a lot of the books that came in different languages on your pocketbook, with Windows Explorer, if I want to delete all the books that were in check, I can highlight it, click delete, and all the books that are in those languages are deleted from my device. So if you want to clean up your e-reader, if you only speak, say, English, you can delete just all the other books. Speaking of books, there's a directory here called Books. And the best way to do it is just to create a directory. And then click paste. And then this book is now on our device. The reason why I created a directory is John Grisham writes a lot of books and if I like this author and I put more books I kind of want to keep all the books in a single directory. Maybe with authors that only have written one book I can just copy and paste into a directory here called books. And if your pocketbook 602 does not have a directory called books you can just create one and when you turn on your e-reader when it shows you all the different directories with different languages, you will have a directory at the top called Books. Now, you don't really want to mess with any of these other directories um, that say languages. Uh, you know, only if you want to copy ebooks in that particular language there, but you don't want to do anything with the games directory. You don't want to really do anything with the system directory. 
Uh, but you can copy photos in JPEG format to the photos directory. So photos in eInk often have very good resolution, so you can always copy them there. And that's really all I recommend that you do, photos and a book and a books directory. So in this tutorial, I've shown you how to use Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions, and Windows Explorer. So hopefully now you have all the tools that you need in order to download or upload ebooks to your device. And at goodyreader.com, we have all of the latest news on our blog in the e-reader, tablet, PC, digital publishing, indie author, and ebook news. Uh, we are the definitive source online. We have roughly five regular authors that write for us, and including myself, I do a lot of the tutorial and review videos on different e-readers, tablets, and things like that for our blog. So you can check everything out. We also have the Goody Reader radio show that we do uh, once a week, so you can get caught up in all of the latest news in the industry in an easy-to-digest format. If you use social media, we are on Facebook. You can search certainly search for Good E Reader. If you want to follow us on Twitter, we're at Good E Reader, all one word. And you can also check out other videos that we've done at youtube.com slash user slash Good E Reader. And we have over 250 videos now, mainly tutorials, video reviews, and a lot of interviews that we do at various trade shows and conferences such as IFA, Computex, the Consumer Electronics Show, and other events. So my name is Marcus, and you've been listening to a GoodyReader.com exclusive video on how to load ebooks on your Pocketbook 602 Pro.